You sent Letterman the piece of the stage where he stood every night and did his monologue. As far as I can tell. As a gift. Yeah. That was very thoughtful. Was that your idea? When we were remodeling, I came in to look around and say, well, where, where would I want to stand? Yeah. Because that's it's really important. And I have my own desire of where I like to stand on stage normally. You're and very close to the audience, I notice. You move very far upstage. I like to be close to the audience, yeah. I like how you move around on the camera, too. I like how you walk out of frame. Yeah, and your that's guys funny. Know. Yeah, well, John Harrison, who's been my n n number two camera for a long time, his he knows that... He knows he, not to follow Don't you. ever follow me. It's good. I just like the frame. Right. I just like the frame. I love that. So I go out there and I walk out on stage and they're just tearing shit down around me. And I walk out and I go, where would I want to stand? Right. There were some boxes on stage. And I said, could you move these boxes? Yeah. So they moved the boxes and I stood in the spot where the boxes had been. And I went, yeah, this feels right. This feels like the right place to stand. And I looked down yeah. and between my feet, I was standing on Dave's spot. Oh, like an X, an X marks the, the spot. It was a red dot. No kidding. I was standing on that spot and I went, oh, of course this is where you'd want to stand. He, of course, he's no dummy. This is where you'd want to stand. Why? But why that spot? You're close enough that you can feel the audience, but you're far enough back in that room specifically that you can play to the balcony because you've got to be able to be far enough back to see the balcony too. You've got to feel both of them. And when you realized that was Dave's spot, you said, aha, uh -huh, I'm going to cut the floor. I said, please just preserve this tile because it's all marley, that yeah. floor. It's, a, it's one big square. It's about this big. Yeah. And his stage was blue, mine's black. It was a, a sea blue and uh, with a red dot on it. And so I had it taken out, had it cleaned, and, and then I put it in a frame. And everybody would come into my office and say, what, what do you think that is? And they go, uh, is that an Ellsworth Kelly? Whatever, like, because <laughs> it looked like- Very famous piece. Because it was minimalist right. art. It's a beautiful blue, shiny backdrop with just one red dot in the corner. And you could read a lot into what that could possibly be. Sure. And I didn't hang it up, and I didn't hang it up, and I didn't hang it up. And I'd had it for, I don't know, almost a year. And I'm like, why aren't I hanging this up? And I went, because it's not yours, dummy. Yeah. And so I sent it to Dave last year and just said, I, I, I think you'll know. People don't know what this is when they walk in my office. I think you might. That's what I said. And I think you should have it. Did he write you back? He wrote me a lovely little note thanking me. And yeah. he liked it, I bet. It was hard to part with because that's television history. It sure is. Yeah. Did you keep any props from the Colbert Report? Did you ever say, ooh, I'm sentimental about where I sat or my chair or anything like that? I uh, kept the Captain America shield. Right. We had Captain America shield because years and years ago when Captain America was killed in the book version of uh, Civil Wars, right. he's assassinated. And so they they read, I got a I got a, a letter from Joe Quesada, who's the, who the yes. managing editor of, of Marvel. And, and I got a big box and a letter and the letter said we read Cap's uh, will. Yes. And he said that you were the only person patriotic enough to handle the solid vibranium shield. <laughs> so they sent me the shield that literally had been hanging on Marvel's wall since the 60s. Oh, you're kidding. That's the actual shield they had at the Marvel Studios, or Marvel uh, headquarters. Offices, yeah. And uh, my wife, who doesn't know anything about uh, comic books or superheroes, she read the letter and she said... Um, with tears in her eyes, she goes, I don't know what any of this means, but I'm so proud of you. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 